um, Echo uh, Shuttle X50. It's the latest design that we've come up with for the for the loyal customers and old clients who has or still using the shuttle uh, XV50. It's an all-in-one PC about five maybe six years ago it's what we were all using on our photo booth and I know that a lot of you still has this uh, this PC so I basically created this um, shell for, for you guys anyways um, but for others um, I wanted to show uh, everyone else that the echo um, the echo boots which is you know which comprise of the t12 the old t12 uh the old t17 and the old uh, t20 they all uses an abr 800 um i have revised my design to make it thinner because i felt that uh, back in the days our design were just too deep i mean you're talking about 11 inches and you're talking about lifting it up to the bezel and it's it's very hard when it's you know when it's that heavy especially when you have a, a locking mechanism that's in the way so we've completely taken that portion out um, and now you know you can easily lift it so it's it's much lighter now than before um, and there's no lock mechanism that hinders you from lifting it up to the bezel so it, you can easily lift it um, for me how I do it is I take this piece out first and I leave this locked in here I don't take them out and I just basically you know slide it over here and lock it in place that's normally how I, I handle my um, my echoes um, by the way people were asking why I call it the echo uh, it's a uh, for me it's just more economic so I named it echo um, well, we're shooting for a, a much more low uh, cost effective uh, also. Anyways, um, I never realized when I designed the, the Echo, uh, I originally have it so it accommodates the ring light that I had purchased. You know, I've purchased, like I said, over 500 of these ring lights and I wanted to sell it along with the shell, you know, just because it was made for it but I had a few client that says hey you know I, I still like the Alien B ABR 800 um, but I love the fact that it's thinner is there a way where you can make you know make it work at the beginning I was a little bit reluctant and I said no it's there's just no way because we've tried every possible way to make it thinner and there's just no way but today I uh, I was staring I was staring at the Alien B ABR 800 that I had on stock and trying to figure out how I can fit it and it actually works I mean it fits you don't need to use this but what I'm actually going to do is I'm actually going to create a custom bracket for this ABR 800 so that uh, those of you who wants to buy the Echo and still want to use the ABR 800 you're welcome to do so as you can see what I have in here is the ABR 800 locked in there I mean I'm not using this you know because this is what makes it big if you look that's why that hole is so big because we're actually using this um, I'm not using that at all just that light alone um, I believe works fine you know the flash is right there as you can see it's pretty oh it's pretty strong you can still dim it that's the brightest um, you can dim it like that and it's still very bright um, so that's pretty much what I think and then um, I'll turn around and I'll show you what I did in the back to fit the ABR 800 and this uh, on the new echoes and um, you guys can check them out yourself and let me know your thoughts. So here's the Echo with an ABR 800. Uh, this particular model fits the shuttle all-in-one PC, the old school shuttle. So I am taking a quarter and I'm gonna open this guy right here. And as you can see, that's pretty much how it's laid out. 
very basic. We got our camera bracket mounted up in here. I what I did was I lifted it up a, a little bit. I elevated it so that it's centered in that hole. And yeah, you got the camera in here. Everything still tilts. With this, you know, you loosen it up and you tilt it. As you can see, the shuttle all-in-one PC is right here. Uh, you basically take out this bracket. This, I mean, this bracket right here. Unscrew it here. Unscrew it there. Same thing up here and in here. And this whole thing will loosen up. Um, right now, I currently have this whole thing set up. Um, we still kept this side right here for the power strip. Obviously, you don't want your power strip just laying around there. So if it's standing up this way, um, I don't have a power strip in here, but you can kind of understand what I'm talking about. Here's a long piece. You know, let's just pretend this is your power strip and it goes there and you strap it with a zip tie. But anyways, um, everything still pretty much looks the same. Um, as you can see, this is the ABR 800. It's thinner than the original, uh, you know, T series photo booth that we were selling, and obviously it's going to be lighter. So you guys are welcome to purchase this. Um, we have resellers, and we're always looking for resellers. You know, um, if you guys want to join our team and and resell our products. You're welcome to do that. Just go ahead and contact me, um, Ray at RayBorjaAssociates.com. My website is RayBorja.com, and you'll see the descriptions and you will see the specs on uh, this particular model. Um, I do want to inform everyone that this model isn't uh, going to be permanent. Like I said at the beginning. I've only I've only made this for uh, the users that have the shuttle all-in-one PC back in the days, you know. So, if you are using, you know, if you're one of those, you know, TS two hundred um, user, you know, back in the days, then and you're looking into uh, upgrading your booth, then this is the booth for you because this is strictly uh, designed for you guys so that's pretty much it